Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Welcome to the Look of the Week, episode 35. Now, just before we start off this episode, I want to quickly talk about Steve Jobs, who, if you didn't know, passed away today, October 6th, 2011. For some countries, it was October 5th, actually, already. And uh, But that doesn't matter. He was a great, great uh, visionary, and he was a big inspiration to a lot of different people in the in the world. And, you know, he he pretty much revolutionized technology, or a lot of things in technology, and, uh, you know, he's not going to be forgotten. And I really want to say rest in peace to Steve Jobs. I'm really sad that he passed away. And uh, hopefully he rests well in the iCloud, which is as well the last feature he uh, actually presented on a keynote. Um, so I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. But uh, anyway, rest in peace to him. So let's go on with the Look of the Week, episode 35. And uh, to start off with, uh, we'll start off as usual with the wallpapers. The first wallpaper I want to mention is Wonder by Ivan Andrevich, if I pronounce that properly, but uh, this is an actual photograph, and uh, I don't know if it has been retouched a lot or photoshopped a lot, but anyway, it's pretty amazing. The colors are pretty amazing, and I really, really liked it. So I had a f I had it a few days on my on my computer, and the colors are, are pretty amazing. So uh, I definitely thought of mentioning this one. Very nice wallpaper. Next up, we got uh, Colored Autumn, or Autumn. Uh, depends how you pronounce it, but anyway, it's a very nice wallpaper. It comes for practically any resolution, including the 27-inch iMac, so that's great. And of course, you know, it's kind of the awesome theme, and it's actually starting to get awesome today. Yesterday was nice weather, today it's just bad. But, uh, yeah. Next up, we got a little wallpaper pack here by Submicron, and I've mentioned him uh, numerous times in the past. One thing, I don't know if I mentioned, uh, Colored Awesome is by Hyper2, in case I forgot to mention the name. Anyway, next one is the Wallpaper Pack uh, Conjure Series. I think you pronounce it by Submicron. And there's three different colors. It comes in blue, green, and uh, red. And they all have different names. Fiora, Sienna, and all that kind of stuff. Really, like, impressive names. Um, so, definitely check those out. Of course, all the links will be in the description as usual. Next up, we got A Dream Within a Dream by Arvin GFM again somebody that I've mentioned quite a few times in the past and uh, this is a really cool wallpaper now I don't know if it's a photograph or if it's modeled uh, I think it's a photograph but I'm not 100% sure it's a very nice photograph of three uh, skyscrapers uh, and by the way if you go into the description right here there's a lot of different cool wallpapers now I didn't want to add them all to the same video because I try to not put as many wallpapers because people tell me it's too much uh, but Right here in the description, there's a lot of cool different wallpapers that he also made, and they're very, very nice. So definitely go check those out. Um, I don't know why this is in here. <laughs> Next up, we uh, we pass to the, um, or we go to the icons. I got a few cool icons. Now, the first one is kind of a Icon Pack Aluminium Fortis Remix by Lord Coquet. Fits very nicely with uh, if you have a MacBook Pro uh, with the aluminium finish. Next up, we got App Store icon or the Graphit App Store icon by A-S-D-E-L-P-A-R because I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a very nice icon. I really like the color and it's just a very nice finish. I don't know how I done that but uh, yeah, very nice icon. Uh, next up we got Wenge which is a very cool uh, icon pack by Glossal. I've mentioned him as well a few times in the past. Uh, comes in the maximum resolution of 512 by 512 and it ha has very nice dark wood finish to it. I really, really like it, uh, especially if you have a bright wallpaper. Uh, it comes out really, really nicely uh, with bright wallpapers. So definitely check the, these one out. Uh, Wenge, again, by Glossal. Uh, last but not least, for the icons, at least, uh, I got the Assassin's Creed Revelations icon. Now, I know it's not out yet, the game. It's coming out soon. What is it, the 18th of November? I don't know, but um, I, of course, pre-ordered it. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty psyched about it. So I already thought I'd throw out the icon. In case you guys are going to get it, uh, there will be a port. Or, I mean, it will come out on Mac, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it might not be on the release date, but it will come out on Mac. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the icons. Very nice. Oh, by the way, the Assassin's Creed icon before, forget to mention, is by Zaka Fain. <laughs> that's a pretty cool name. All right. Next up, we got some docs here. First one is the Charcoal Doc by Michael... Algony, I think it's pronounced, but I'm not totally sure. It's a very nice dock and um, very nice on bright wallpapers, so really cool. 
uh, dock if you want to use it. You can apply it with Candy Bar. And I actually just installed Candy Bar on this machine. Um, brand new, so I lost all my icons. Uh, but yeah, I have that backed up anyway. Uh, but it's a very cool uh, dock by him. Next up, we got Stationery by Modeler 100 or Modeler 100. And uh, this one, in my opinion, fits very nicely with the wooden icons I just showed off uh, in the icons. Very nice because it's a very bright dock and you put those very dark woodish um, icons on it. It looks very, very cool in my opinion. Um, so definitely check it out. Stationary dock by Modeler 100 again to apply with Candy Bar. Uh, next up, I got a few things for Geek Tool. The first thing is... Uh, nine clocks for Geek Tool. Now it's nine different clocks, pretty straightforward. You have the hour, uh, minutes, and seconds actually. Um, now you don't have to have the seconds, but uh, it's probably easier to install just the seconds or the whole clock than removing certain parts. So it really depends. But anyway, this works with um, Geek Tool. If you don't have Geek Tool, I'll put a link to download Geek Tool in the description. And as you can see, uh, there's a little example here. I've got a clock myself and it kind of flips, or it doesn't really flip, but it you know changes every minute. Um, so that's uh, nine clocks for Geek Tool by Midnight Midnight Tokyo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Tokyo Kate. <laughs> anyway, next up we got some bow tie themes. Uh, the first one is by Side Seven. Mentioned him quite a few times in the past. Very cool bow tie theme. One of my favorites, to be honest. I mean, they they fit. This one fits really really nicely with darker. Uh, wallpapers, uh, especially with the one I have right now of Steve Jobs. Very cool bow tie theme. If you don't know what bow tie is yet, uh, it's a little free uh, plugin you can get for your Mac or plugin. It's a system preference kind of thing. It's for iTunes, and you can pretty much control your iTunes with a little, little thing on your desktop, just as small as this. It's really handy, as well. So next up, we got a few iOS things. Um, the first one is iOS 5 style for bow tie as well. So again, for iTunes, uh, shows off the um, the artist and the um, song name, album. You got a little picture of the album art and all that stuff. Anyway, a very cool iOS 5 styled bow tie theme. And to end off the episode, I got a iOS 5 lion grow theme. Now, if you don't know what grow is yet, you're definitely missing out. You probably already have it without even noticing. Uh, you often get it while downloading other application. They ask you, yeah, do you want to download it? It's a really cool app. You should totally get it. <laughs> anyway, if you don't have it yet, it's totally free. And uh, you probably already have it. It's just a little notification system tells you whether somebody's chatting to you on Skype. You finish the download on your browser. You, uh, I don't know, it can be anything. You got a to-do thing to do or you got something added to your Dropbox. It doesn't matter. It gives you notifications for all your applications. Uh, it's a very, very cool little app. And this is a theme for it, iOS 5 theme by Sky John. So definitely check that out if you're a fan of that new iOS 5 notification uh, style. This has been my look of the week 35. Thank you for watching. Holy crap. This has been my look of the week episode 35. I'll thank you a lot for watching. I know that my videos have been lacking a lot lately. I've been very, very busy and I know I still have to announce the Winners of my giveaway will come very, very soon. Uh, the chance of you winning the giveaway, by the way, is about one out of three because I got like 20 copies and there's 60 people that entered. So there's a really big chance of you getting it. I know I still have to announce the winners. I will. I got to put out one application review before I do that and then I'll announce it as soon as possible. But I'm just really, really busy. So I'm very sorry about this. But uh, yep, <clears throat> I just don't have that much time. <laughs> I'll take it out for watching anyway this episode and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.